Hi, my name is Dr. Eric Alskog. I'm a neurologist at the Mayo Clinic. I've been here over a quarter of a century. My specialty is movement disorders and a major portion of that is seeing folks with Parkinson's disease. So that's pretty much what I've been doing for the last 25 years. I'm a full-time clinician and I see patients all day, every day, Monday through Friday and the majority of those are folks with Parkinson's disease. The reason that uh, I'm giving this interview relates to the book I just wrote for doctors who are treating patients with Parkinson's disease. Now the rationale for this book really relates to the fact that that this, like a lot of medical disorders in this modern era, is getting more and more complicated. There are multiple medications, there are multiple doses, it's becoming very, very difficult for practicing clinicians to make sense out of the, the myriad of medical articles that are written about this. There are approximately 1,200 journal articles a year published on Parkinson's disease, and many of those address how to treat folks with Parkinson's disease and not all of these are consistent. The folks with Parkinson's disease obviously are the crucial target of all these things we as physicians do and uh, this book for doctors is to provide what I hope is a clear and concise strategy for treating folks with Parkinson's disease. Now the intent of this this book for Parkinson's disease for doctors really dovetails with a book that, that I published a few years ago that was written for patients with Parkinson's disease. And again, the, the rationale for publishing that book really was to facilitate the interaction that patients have with their doctor. This is a little different than books previously published for Parkinson's disease. There are many good books that were out there, but they had sort of general guidelines for these are the medicines that you can use to treat Parkinson's disease. Uh, very little was said for patients now that was very specific about this is the best drug for this problem, these are the side effects to look out for, these are the interactions to worry about, and this drug and that drug maybe aren't quite as good for this particular problem. I thought folks with Parkinson's disease needed some very specific guidelines, and this is to create uh, uh, a concise treatment strategy in this rather chaotic system that we have where we have a myriad of different kinds of recommendations and admonitions about the drugs that are out there. I specifically wrote these two books for patients with Parkinson's disease to allow the patients and their doctor to work in parallel and as partners in the treatment. Folks with Parkinson's disease needed guidelines, doctors with treating patients with Parkinson's disease needed to be on the same page as their patient. These books each contain 35 chapters and I purposely wrote the second book for doctors treating patients with Parkinson's disease to match each of the 35 chapters in the book for patients treating Parkinson's disease. So these two books, if you look at each individual chapter, each chapter in the book for patients with Parkinson's disease parallels the book for physicians with Parkinson's disease. Part of the motivation for writing these books uh, had to do with my experiences in, in the clinic. So, you know, I, personally I get a lot of pleasure out of helping folks with Parkinson's disease. and That's why doctors go into medicine for the most part. It's, it's to do some collective good. On the other hand, it's a little bit frustrating because you can only treat one patient at a time. And so, even though it's rewarding in the, in the short term, in the long run, you know, it's a little frustrating that you can't help more people. So my thought was that I have some spare time on weekends and evenings. I'm going to write a couple books and I'll see if I can, can help the collective Parkinson's disease community. And so that was really the rationale f for doing this. Now you might ask, well, well how, how do you know all this stuff is really correct and on target and appropriate for patients? And uh, my response to that is, is that besides reading the medical literature, which actually I, I, I do have a passion for, you know, the science of medicine and the science of neurology, but a lot of the things I put in these books were lessons taught to me by patients. So if this is what you do for a living, which is what I do, I see patients all day, every day in the clinic, patients teach you things, and if you listen and you're attentive, you'll learn a lot of things that really help subsequent patients in the practice.